Can I, a pro golfer, still shoot even par or better with only $30 worth of golf equipment? Well, let's find out. Calling your phone, why you not hitting me back? Please just pick up, don't want to go tip for tat. Arguing not. Tired. All right, everyone. So, made a few calls around to the pawn shops, thrift stores, a couple of Goodwills, and there's a Goodwill in South Arlington that has quite a few pieces, they said. You know, they're all marked $3.29. So, we're going to head there. So, we're going to see what we can mix and match for $30. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna go or what they have yet. Uh, so it could be like a honey hole or just like an absolute disaster. We'll see. Alrighty y'all, so we're back at my house. Also, I guess, welcome to my crib. You got the clubs? God, this is gonna be hilarious walking out to the course like this. Um, so just gonna do a little what's in the bag uh, before we go out to the course and uh, get after it. So first one is a uh, persimmon driver or wooden driver. And oh my God, I didn't even realize it guys, but this thing has a crack already in it. it like legit has like a, can you see that? Oh, this is gonna be good. This thing might fly off today. But Wilson Driver, <laughs> um, Patty Berg edition. Let's go. Tour Grip, it says Tour on there. Um, still shot, so got that. That might fly off after one drive. Next one, uh, the next two clubs are the same like brand, so they're Arnold Palmer's, I'm assuming. So they're called uh, the Boss, Boss 2. These things are like butter knives, dude, I mean. Two iron, like you can't even see, like, there's no offset. Two iron and the six iron, and the Palmer Boss too, whatever these grips are, they feel like sandpaper. So I, I recognize this one because when I first started playing golf, I, like an old pro had a set of these still. So they're called the Silver Scots, the 845s, and uh, nine iron. So that's gonna be my club around the green, bunkers. Um, I think this one will be all right. The only thing is, is the end of it, you can see the shaft, so. 329 a piece, what are you gonna do? And then last but not least, the Sam Snead Wilson putter. Um, looks like an 8802 almost. Not really, double-sided, so if I wanted to putt lefty today I could. Got some tape around the grip, so might be a tough scene. We'll see. Um, no stand bag, just one strap. I got a few tees and then a few old balls in there. So yeah, so that's my what's in the bag. Um, pretty flashy, I know, but $30, 80 cents. I don't think it's too bad. We'll see. We're gonna see after after we play a few holes. So I'll see y'all at the course. Get up, stretch my legs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Start my wake up, get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face, throw my clothes on, start my day, wake up. All right, guys, we made it out to the course. Um, you should have seen some of the looks I got pulling out these clubs and that skinny ass bag I have on. We're on hole two out here at Texas Rangers. I'm uh, thinking, so what we're gonna do 
So we're gonna play two, three, four, five, and six. Goal today for those few holes is uh, even. If I don't shoot even or lower, I have to use these. this set. Granted, it all stays together. I have to use this set in my next match. What do y'all think? I think that's pretty good. Yeah, if I don't shoot even or lower, I gotta use this set my next match. So we're on hole two, let's get started. Hole two at Texas Rangers, par four, 448, I believe. So I was warming up and I think it's better to not use a glove with these just cause of the, uh, the grips. They're like real slick. And I think they're made to interact with your hands more than like a real glove. So I think we're gonna go no glove today and uh, let's get started. This is gonna be interesting. Remember I showed y'all at the house that this thing has a crack already in it and I didn't realize it when I bought them. Gotta slow it down a touch, I think. All right, not bad. Timing was very weird, but uh, that actually went a good distance, so not bad. All right, that, that was very weird. Um, I could feel like the club just flexing like crazy at the top uh, when I was swinging that. So, hey, but it didn't come off. I was I was very uh, curious to see if it would just if the head would just pop right off with that crack in it. So, uh, not bad. We're in play. All we gotta do is shoot even today, and we won't have to use these things ever again. Alrighty, so. Uh, didn't bring a rangefinder, but I must guess it's like around 160 ish to the hole. It's like right at that dead tree just over the hill. Uh, so I got six wind off, wind going right there. So just gonna try and flight something in there with the six iron. No glove still. These are real slick. Oh, that's pretty good. That's like right at it. This thing's a butter knife, dude. <laughs> this thing cut through that grass so easily. Like that leading edge is so sharp. I knew it was like kind of right at it because I was coming from that angle. So it's right there. Holes over there. It's about 40 feet. So just going to put some good speed on it. And um, yeah, maybe it might go in. I don't know. Should get there all the way. Just dove hard. All right, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. Tap it in. All right, par. Here we go. Par to start. Started off with a good par there. Um, got about one seventy-eight ish. I'm gonna guess one eighty ish. So I'm gonna have to hammer this six, or I could just get crazy and fillet this two iron. But since we're playing for a score, I think I'm just gonna go with the six. Because I don't wanna use these next time I play. Just gonna take it right at the uh, right at the center of the front part of the green. The wind should move it right. Just kind of swing hard on it, I think. Because this, this definitely does not go as far as my search iron. If it goes just a little bit. Go, 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 go. That's insane. I just got stood up by the wind. That thing got stood up by the wind so hard. It's right there. Flyers up there. Just a simple pitch shot, but I don't have a wedge. All I got this, all I have is this nine iron, which. Honestly, it might work out for me. Let's see. Oh, I hit that so perfect. But too far. Wow, that's... Uh, and... Dude, that came off so good. <laughs> it just kept rolling. Like, landed right here where I wanted it to, and then just... 
Away we go. That's what it said. I don't know. All right, well, this is where boys become men. Just going down to the right. Only thing is, is I don't know where, I don't know how to square this thing up. It's like all crooked and stuff. One time, PG. Can I use my one time here? One time. Oh, let's go, dude. <laughs> There's no way that swung that hard right at the end. That's hilarious. These next two holes are 100% going to be like the most difficult two shots I'll have with this driver, especially. Just because there's like water and wind is different today than the, like the usual prevailing wind. So I'm going to take it up at that, that lonesome tree down there and just hit it hard. I don't know. Old Patty Berg, Wilson Patty Berg. Okay, left it out right, but it's in the fairway. You just can't see it from that angle on the camera. All right, y'all. So, it said 125 from the cart to the hole. I got nine because I don't have anything more lofted. Just got to run it up, I think. Um, there's no chance if it stays on if I land it on, you know? Something like that. Run. Oh, what a hop. It went straight to the right. Wow, that's unlucky. Oh, man. I told y'all I got a huge kick to the right. This putt might move right, even though it looks like it's sloping to the left. I'm just going to play it right at it, I think. All right, not bad. Even through three, two more holes left. We can do it. All right, this is 100%, without a doubt, the hardest tee shot out here. <laughs> Dude, this thing's so whippy. Oh my god. Covered. Covered. Well, if you can't tell yet, it's very windy today. But that doesn't stop the grind. All right. I am way back here, just past the 200 yard marker. I got it playing probably another 20 yards with this wind. So probably close to 215. So I got, I got the two iron. I'm just gonna send it. Very good, actually. So good. I can't believe they got back there. Can y'all hear that? Because there's no like cover to the end of the strip, you can like make this shaft like whistle. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Whatever. Um, so, two iron to here. I don't want to putt this just because of this stuff right here. I'm literally just going to putt it like put the nine iron back in my stance, like back of my stance putter grip and just literally make a putting stroke with it. All right, that was piss poor. I didn't know what to do. Well, go to the next hole. Well, um, I kind of was just so pissed off from hitting a bad chip shot. I just kind of went up there and tapped up or tapped in the putt and it, like, it was dead center. So 
even after what is that two three four five four holes so one more hole left hole six oh uh, y'all probably seen this hole on my like journey to an ace so probably gonna use nine iron and i might make it i feel like i can make this we'll see all right 109 i have nine iron yeah probably playing 120 so just make a birdie par let's get out of here end it with a bang so i can go drink a bang and then start editing this video for y'all i like it pg so something cozy up there wind is into me though this wind's strong today ladies and gents but nothing for the pro A very sawed off. All right, pin high. Let's do it. Let's go make something happen. All right. Even through four, last hole. Let's make a birdie, dude. Just to say we did. Just to prove to like ourselves. Just to prove to myself. That's what I should say. Just to prove to myself that I can, can play with pretty much anything for the most part. And, uh, you know, still shoot under par or even, or just be competitive. Oh, I'm going to take away my back stuff, though. Got to do that. Just try and roll it right around there, and then uh, should have a good chance. Even this putter is like kind of whippy. That is the sound of sweet, sweet victory. Even through five. No more. I can go put these things away. Or give them to someone. Well, I gotta say, that was very interesting, but different. And I actually kind of enjoyed it. It was fun. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I don't know if I'm just gonna donate them back or Give them to someone. If you want them, let me know. Just like DM me or text me. But that was very fun uh, for me, especially. That's what this, all this YouTube stuff makes it makes you golf fun for me. That's what it does. So I enjoy it. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. We are on the road to 1K subs. And uh, until next time, peace.